about this year for you compared to last year at this time when you were just a rookie? Um, just more uh, time on the field experience, more repetition. It's really the only difference. Um, just feel a little bit better. How do you view that, that starting cornerback spot opposite Darius? I mean, is it wide open? And if so, what do you have to do to make sure you win that job? Um, I mean, it's, it's great competition. Uh, we have a lot of great DBs in our room. Slay, Agnew, Quandre, Nevo, um, Shed. So it's, I mean, it's, a, it's a lot of it's great competition. And that only makes the team better. That only makes our room better. How much is physicality emphasized out there? And is it even more than it was before? Oh, yeah, tough. One, we want to, that's co one of the coach's biggest things. We, we want us to be a tough football team. Why? What is that? How does that uh, um, That's just the game of football. Um, you know, usually the, the tougher team wins. So. Um, I don't think that it was missing. It's just coach emphasizes it a lot. And how does it in practice, what, more hitting like on like today or, or the Oklahoma drill or mm -hmm. stuff like that? Is that how you see him emphasizing it? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's direct. That's a direct correlation to the game of football. And um, you only get better at things if you work on things. So, um, you know, tackling, being physical is probably the biggest part of the game. So. Does it strike you that that comes directly from him when you see him out there in practice being hands-on? I mean, he seems like he's very involved with Oh, yeah, very involved. I, lo I love Coach Matty Fido, um, aggressive guy. I, I love what he's doing, what, he, what he's trying to do with the organization. He wants to, you know, create the culture. And, you know, I, I love what he's doing personally. Keith, what can you learn from a player like Deshaun Shedd, who's a big physical corner similar in size to you? Oh, I learned a lot. Um, you know, we talk there on a daily basis just about stuff we're seeing out there on the field. Um, you know, we pitch things back and forth. You know, I learned a lot from a very smart guy. Um, comes from a system where bigger corners are favored. And, um, you know, I've just been taking a l little bits and pieces from his game. What do you know now about you using your size that maybe you did a year ago and how that can help you as a um, you know, Receivers don't like when you uh, really get up in their face like that. So, I mean... You just gotta, you gotta want to just be in their face. <laughs> you did a lot of that at Florida, though, right? I mean, people some press. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, is, I, don't know, I mean, it's all different types of presses, though. Um, you know, you gotta switch it up. But the main thing is, if, if you can get your hands on the guy, you know, that, that really helps you. You saw that in games last year in practice out here. Where'd, you, where'd that kind of come to life? Um, I've, I've, I've always had it. Just, you know, you kind of, you don't want to lose him at the line, so you, you, you really don't want it sometimes. You know, you don't want to use your hands like that, but if you get a good jam, then the route is basically over. It looks like you and Kenny have had some pretty physical battles mm -hmm. down there in the red zone, too. How have those battles helped you? Oh, I love going against Kenny. Uh, him and Marv, you know, big guys, strong guys, too, um, and can half point the football. But um, it's definitely some good work um, just going up against those type of guys, being real physical. What's unique about Marv? Is he the way he can control his body? Or is he Everything is unique about Marv. Fast, quick. He's fast. He's got long speed. He's quick like a little guy. Um, he's strong like a big guy. Um, he can go up and catch the football anywhere on the field. Um, great body control down there in the red area. Um, I mean, he had 60, 60 some catches and over a thousand yards last year. So you know he can go deep on you. So how excited are, are you for what you know this new scheme means to your game and what you can do on the field? Well, I'm just excited for the for the whole deep. Defense as a whole, um, you know, Maddie Pre brings a, a certain level of energy and, and excitement and intensity to that side of the ball. Well, really to the whole team, but to that side of the ball. Did you spend some time with him coming out of the draft at all? And they worked you out, or you visited him or anything like that? Matt, when he was with New England. Uh, yeah, we sat down for a little bit. And what anything? What, what stood out about that that meeting with him? Uh, just how how much he loves football. And how much he knows and how much just how much he cares about the game. So is he involved in every single thing out there? Like you see him all over the field, not just on defense? I'm pretty sure coach is involved in everything on the field. <laughs> <laughs> he's very he's very instructional. I mean he's right in the mix, you know, maybe more than some others. Do you guys like that basketball him? Uh well I mean I love it, you know, because uh one day I wanna be a head coach and um, you know, I kinda Everywhere I've been, I've kind of taken things from a lot of people, but if I could be like one guy, I would want to be like him just because, you know, he's not like 
uh, you know, the assistant coaches do the job. No, he he, he demands what he need, what he wants. And I feel like all great coaches have that, you know, that quality. They're going to demand greatness out of their players. And they're going to demand everything that they want. And they're going to get it. Tell me a little bit more about that, your, your desire to be a head coach. Why? Well, I, I want to be around the game of football. So, you know, I just learn from a lot of people. Uh, you know, how coach, you know, how he runs his meetings. I'm watching how he runs his meetings, you know, how he interacts with his player, how he cares about his players, you know. Um, you know, he, he definitely cares about his players. Everything he's done, you know, around just everything, you know, I'm just, just watching and learning. So what one day, like no, I just you know, I, I just take a mental note, you know, um, you know, just how he does things. I definitely take a mental note. Have you taken notes of all the coaches that you've had? Yes. Okay. He's like, I, I like what he does. I like what he does. I like how he runs this meeting. But the one thing about coach, he's, he's, he's hands on. You had that desire from an early age? Um. Yeah, cause you, cause you, I mean, I just love the game of football. You can't, obviously, you can't play forever. I wish I could, but <laughs> that's just the next step. <laughs> so, what would you take from from Jim Caldwell? Like, what's something that you would incorporate into your coaching style that you saw from him? Um, well, how, he, how he ran his uh, his meeting. It wasn't just always about football. It was um, about us becoming better men. He would give us stories from ancient times to two days ago, and it was just like you know, you, you actually learn. It was it was real cool in his team meetings. What, uh, what about your, your college coach before? Dan, is that who you were? Uh, coach Muschamp or McElwain? Either one. Um, see, Coach Mack, we just had one team rule, and it was do what's right. Um, you know, he gave me this band right here that says choices. You know, everybody got the freedom of choice, but not the freedom of consequence. <laughs> so, you know, everywhere I've gone, I kind of take something from, from every coach. That was from Jim? McElwain. That was from, yeah, that was from McElwain. Muschamp. I love his energy, and his energy is beyond, by far the best. And his, his, his schemes on defense was, was pretty good. What's something that you, you don't have to name the coach necessarily, you kind of flunk, but what's something that you don't like you know, that, that a coach has done, or something that you would change up if you were I mean, I wouldn't change up anything. Just, you know, take the best qualities out of everyone and, and put, it in, put it in your game. Same thing I do, you know, out here, you know, I watch Slay, how he's more of a, you know, he, I like how he's, how his press and Shea's press is kind of two different types of presses, but, you know, both very effective. So just like you study players, you're studying study coaches. coaches for one day. Right, right. Did, did you feel late last year it started to come around to you a little bit more? Did you feel that coming into this season? Uh, last year was last year. I mean, I mean, I definitely, you know, with the reps I've been getting, I feel more comfortable, you know, just feel a lot more comfortable. When you say he amps up the energy intensity, what what is he doing to do that? Who, coach? Coach Patricia. Oh man, uh, just, you just, just, I mean, you guys got the camera on. Him. <laughs> <laughs> man, I love his energy though, man. So, um, you know, when when you when you, when you love something, and have a passion for something, and you see somebody else with that same passion, it's like, I love you. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, it just raises your passion and energy for that same thing, even when you don't want to do it. Have you ever coached at all, like a you know, little cousin or something like that? Little league football, flag football, anything? Have you done any of that? that wasn't really well yet? Nah, I don't have the time to. I don't know if you know, maybe <laughs> back in college or something. Or I wish I did, but. You did something like that. Who were the corners you looked up, up to when you were coming up? Was it in college, high school, whatever? Uh, well, when I was young, me and Joe Hayden kind of from the same area, so it was really like Joe Hayden. It's kind of like where I went to Florida. Um, but yeah, Joe Hayden game, one of the best to me. About Brandon Powell too, a you know, guy you know obviously mm -hmm. in Florida. What uh, has he shown you here? What, what, do you, what do you guys have in him? Oh, I mean BP's a he's a great competitor. Um, you know he's tough as nails, but he's always been that way. <laughs>